welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Friday the 27th of September 2019. That month is wearing hard on me now, I don't know why. It's time to move on. Right, okay, I've been out in the rain, my hair's a bit bonkers, so I am using Tarot of the Haircuts or Tarot of the Old Past. Is this the one that's 1990? Yes, 1990. So it takes us from of the 80s. I don't know what the noise is for the 90s. 80s had so many noises, didn't it? You know, you could do a whole kind of like pew, pew, pew for Space Invaders or for music. Or <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but the one that's in. Um, the Secret of My Success with Michael J. Fox. That scene where he's with that woman in the beach house, whatever it is, and there's a chick chick and another noise. Have a look, okay? Brilliant film that, actually. Michael J. Fox films in the 80s were the best. Anywho, we don't have a noise for the 90s. Leave me a comment, let me know. Is there a noise for the 90s? Hey, I know, the 90s for me is... I don't know, but that's it. What can I say? I don't really know what to say about the 90s. I don't know what would, oh my God, what gorgeous cards. I don't know what would encapsulate it. So, <laughs> the 90s in a noise, please. Tarot of the Old Path, very nice or tarot of the hats and haircuts. Wow. Wow, this is, a... oh my God, this is a gorgeous reading. Regulars among you, and many of you are, will know that we take the rough with the smooth here at Gemstone Tarot. Okay. I love this not gonna make any bones about it. In the middle, the Six of Swords. This is a bit of a stepping stone Six of Swords, quite unusual actually. He's got hair a bit like mine where it's been caught in the rain under his hat, can you see? Some of the boys these days, the kind of teenage boy cut, I'll tell you what has come back, and I never thought I would see this, is the perm, or permanent wave, or whatever you want to call it. So what they do, is they're having it kind of shaved at the back. Have it, I mean, ugh, don't look on Instagram. I mean, it's just awful, <laughs> but it's like shaved at the back, kind of cropped at the sides. And then what they're doing is perming this bit at the front. So they get like a kind of, just a, a splat of curly hair. And that is the look. Now, did you ever imagine that the perm could come back. I had a perm when I was 16. I will dig that photo out. It is horrendous. It was one of those where you have a perm and it's it goes into corkscrew because my hair does have a naturally curly thing underneath the straightness and it just went into corkscrews but it just rushed up my head. So my fringe was about that long and it was a curly fringe and it just kind of went into this box it was crystal tips. It looks horrific. It's one of those hairdos where you regret it the minute it's finished. Anyway, Six of Swords moving away from trouble. Then we get the just, I mean, this is just gorgeous. Four, four major arcana, okay? Sun and the moon. Now in this deck, a couple of the cards are different. So they call the moon illusion. But you know that it is, um, Actually, I better check that. <laughs> One moment. I know that it is, but I don't trust myself. Tarot Bible, where are you? Cha-ching, there it is. Never be without it, 23. Hey, it could be judgment. I'm gonna keep my mush shut until I've checked this. No, it's the moon. Sanding man's just started, by the way. I can hear him. 
but he's doing the inside of the house instead of the outside of the house so it's it's quieter right good okay where have i put the sun moon and the sun together that is a very very happy combination in tarot it's lovely they're both in the upright they're both major arcana it can represent the patterns of the eclipses so we had eclipses in january we had eclipses in july we had a clip we have eclipses 26th of december we have a big eclipse 2020 about the 10th of january as well but moon and the sun, the masculine, the feminine, the yin, and yin, the yin and the yang, all of it, okay? It's polarities that strike each other off really beautifully. So I really like it, okay? Really like it. Something in my eye, I like it that much. Okay. Then, as if that wasn't enough, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright as well. Ring-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-dong. We love it, okay? This is nice. I mean, if this was bingo, it would be like getting a line, two lines, and then a full house, because we've got the star. The star. <laughs> I don't know why they do that with the star. Never mind. Okay. Now, you think my hair's crazy. Look at that. I know. Cool. She's been out in the wind and the rain. The star, the sun and the moon. It's like a whole celestial bingo house. It's great. It's positive. It's... It's lit. That's what the kids are saying. It's lit. Seven of rods in reverse. That's good too. Mars in Leo. But in the reverse. So not struggling, not fighting you know when the seven of wands is at play it's trying too hard it's struggling it's resisting it's fighting it's oh where is it where is it Grrr. no this is there's no need six of swords just drift towards what is good okay drift towards what is good and then we're rocking an extremely interesting haircut i don't know what you would call this i suppose it's verging on a mullet Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is about grounded, earthy patience. He clearly waited for the sides to grow for quite a long time. That's what the Page of Pentacles does. It's been a long time coming. This is well-deserved energy. For some of you, this is a short burst. For others of you, it's bigger. We love it. Let's have an oracle card. And I'm going to have a romance angel oracle card too. And I'm going to have a wisdom of the hidden realms. We're going for a trinity of oracle cards. Ooh, love it. Okay, good. We've got almost the equivalent of the sun and the moon. We've got the fire prince, optimism and aggression. This is yang energy. I like that a lot. And then we've got a more moony card, which is imagine. Now, it's got a person drawing down the moon. The message that I get from that is even if you're not feeling this, imagine it's the case, okay? Sometimes it's a sort of a fake it till you make it, but it doesn't really work if you fake it. Feel it till you see it. Feel it till you are it. Feel it till you know it. Feel it till you feel it till it becomes, okay? Getting to know each other is the Romance Angel Oracle cards, itchy nose. I like that. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. That's very um, healthy, I think. Okay, very healthy energy. And also with the sun and the moon in the reading, that kind of 
masculine and feminine harmony this is a very harmonious reading it's lovely please let me know how it resonates with you lush truth and integrity itchy itchy nose okay i'm not going to spoil it it's a gorgeous reading okay leave me a comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow namaste